In September 2016, Raspberry Pi Foundation announced the release of the Pixel desktop environment. It is shipped by default with the Raspbian images for Raspberry Pi. As we all know, the CPUs of all versions and models of Raspberry Pi have ARM architecture, while the majority of personal computers are still with x86, 32 or 64-bit Intel compatible processors. In December, Raspberry Pi Foundation made us a pleasant surprise and provided an image with Pixel for x86. Now I'll show you how to bring a fresh look with the Pixel on your old netbook. I'll show you how to boot it on my Asus EEPC. As we all know, the CPUs of all versions and models of Raspberry Pi have ARM architecture, while the majority of personal computers are still with x86, 32 or 64-bit Intel compatible processors. In December, Raspberry Pi Foundation made us a pleasant surprise and provided an image with Pixel for x86. Now I'll show you how to bring a fresh look with the Pixel on your old netbook. I'll show you how to boot it on my Asus EEPC. The first step is to download the image for x86. Check the link of the description of the video. After that, flash the image to a USB stick. You can do this through the command line or via handy application. There are at least a dozen of them for Windows, but as an Ubuntu user, I'm going to use two compatible with GNU Linux distributions. This is an open source application from Raisin.io called Etcher. It is still in beta and needs some improvements, but it's still very nice. Plug the USB stick in your personal computer. After that, just select the downloaded image and the media corresponding to the USB stick. Etcher will create a bootable USB stick with Pixel for you in a few moments. Now, plug the USB stick in the old netbook and boot it. On my Asus EEPC, I have to double press Escape and to select the USB media. It is recommended to use a high quality USB stick to ensure that the operating system will boot fast. The Pixel desktop environment looks exactly the same as what you get on your Raspberry Pi. Just like on Raspberry Pi 3, my old netbook has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I will connect it to my home network. The image includes a web browser with Flash. The sound works just fine. The image also includes LibreOffice, there are development tools and of course a few nice games. The terminal is a must-have application. This is the Linux kernel version of the image. As you know, Raspbian is based on Debian. Now, let's have a look at the hardware of my old netbook. I bought it 7 years ago, so nowadays the hardware capabilities are very, very modest. Right now, my smartphone is several times more powerful than this old netbook. The CPU is one of the first Intel Atom processors and there is just 1GB of RAM. Despite this, the Pixel desktop environment is working pretty well. It will become faster if I copy it to the hard drive instead of booting it from a USB stick. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a look at some of my other videos. See you soon.